I don't know if I've ever made a video where we go over so much information as this one, but this is a huge top NHL prospects update on guys who have been loaned over to Europe, guys who are staying in Europe, and guys who you probably want to know a little bit more about. So going over in chronological order, and we're only starting from July 16th onwards, so maybe before this there are some guys that I'm missing, but the first guy we're talking about on July 15th is Dmitry Samarukov, an Edmonton Oilers prospect, who was loaned over to CSKA Moscow for the 2020-2021 season. He's 21 years old, and he didn't really have the best season with the Bakersfield Condors earlier this year, 10 points in 47 games. However, the guy is a D-man too, so we'll give him the pass on that. But he's looking to start off the season with the KHL team. We'll see whether or not he intends to come back once the NHL season starts up. But he's a guy who certainly can be a valuable Oilers prospect. The second guy we're talking about is Igor Sharangovich from the New Jersey Devils system, a guy drafted in the 2018 NHL entry draft. He's 22 years old, meaning that he was an overager at that entry draft. He's a guy who got loaned over to the KHL. He's going to be playing for Dynamo Minsk, starting the season off with them. He's a guy who put up 10 goals and 15 assists in 57 AHL games this past season as a Belarusian winger. He was drafted out of Belarus, so he's going back over there for their KHL team, so that's going to be interesting to see going forward. Next up, July 17th, we have a Philadelphia Flyers prospect, Maxime Sushko, who is loaned to the KHL. He is also going to Dynamo Minsk. He is also a guy who played in the AHL the most recent season as a fourth-round pick of the Flyers in 2017. He's 21 years old, and he had 21 points in 53 games with the Lehigh Valley Phantoms. Next up... It's the Calgary Flames prospect Milos Roman, a guy who I know and love because of his time with the Vancouver Giants. He was a fourth round draft pick all the way back in the 2018 NHL entry draft, and he's going to be going over to the Czech Republic. He hasn't signed a contract with the Flames, but according to the Osolari Trinex Facebook page, he will be going to their team to start off 2020-2021. Next on our list is a guy whose name you may recognize. This is Vladislav Kolyachinok, a Belarusian prospect from the Florida Panthers system drafted in the 2019 NHL entry draft in the second round. He was a really good player for the Flint Firebirds, and he's going to be going to Dynamo Minsk in the KHL. So they're really stacking up on these NHL caliber prospects, aren't they? He definitely is the best Belarusian hockey player that we've seen in a long time, and he's going back to their team, repping the colors in the KHL, and we'll see how he does as the 2020-2021 season goes along. We also have a Minnesota Wild prospect. This is Ivan Lodnia, who was loaned over to the KHL just over a week ago. He was selected 85th overall in the 2017 NHL Entry Draft, and as a member of the Niagara Ice Dogs in the OHL, this guy got 62 points in 41 games. He was really good, had a solid points per game, but he wasn't all too great when he played with the Iowa Wild in a short stint two years ago. And now we move on to the big names. First, it's Leash Anderson, who earlier this week posted a video onto the HV71 SHL team's Twitter page saying in Swedish that he's going to be back for another year and that he's happy to be there. Now, this isn't too big of a surprise, because we already noted how the Rangers actually tried recruiting Anderson, and they tried asking him, hey man, come back to New York, play against the Carolina Hurricanes in the play-in series, we can give you a spot, and he said no. That was what we dubbed the last straw. I made a thumbnail with the Diary of a Wimpy Kid theme going on. Nobody really appreciated it more than I did, as well as Face Off with Farron Holtz Kai, but... Aside from that, we have ourselves an update on what is not to be too surprising where Leosh Anderson says that he is going to continue playing with that team. It's no surprise because he had a short stint with them after leaving and ditching his AHL team in Hartford, and he was actually really good with them when he played in the limited ice time that he did get before the season was cancelled because, you know, the virus. Leosh Anderson, though, is still a top prospect from the 2017 NHL Entry Draft, and while we have seen other prospects in the NHL who have similar stories to Anderson, but who aren't holding out in the same way, Jesse Pogliarvi is the one who comes to mind, there certainly is still some form of value in a guy who was a top 10 pick in the draft and who is still only 21 years old. 
Assuming he plays the full year, I'm honestly expecting a really, really dominant season, like top three in the league in points kind of season from Leish Anderson. Next up, we have Jonathan Dolan, who on July 25th, we had ourselves a decision that he was going to stay in Sweden for another year. It's actually kind of weird because the Sharks were reportedly going to bring him in and they actually wanted to see him in the NHL in 2020-2021, but instead he is going to stay with Temra. He had 77 points in 51 games. We all know this guy. He was a Vancouver Canucks prospect after being an Ottawa Senators prospect. He was supposed to be the number one elite left wing alongside of Pedersen because they played together with the Timra IK. But now, after a few falling out years with the San Jose Barracuda and the Utica Comets, Jonathan Dolan is now in Timra once again after denying offers to go to the SHL because he just wants to get that love for hockey back. And sure, maybe some of this information may be a little bit miscued, but at the same time, I'm just calling the shots like I see it. This is the story that we have been presented with, and it's the story that we'll continue to write as Jonathan Dolan continues his career in Sweden. As for other Swedes in Vancouver, though, Niels Hoaglander is another one who is making the news today because earlier in the week, he was loaned to the SHL once more. It's Rogla BK, the team that he was with for the past two seasons, and it should come as no surprise to Canucks fans as, you know, there were already reports saying that he didn't want to play in Utica and that he would rather play in the SHL. He did sign a contract earlier in the past summer, and now all we have to do is wait for him to actually continue playing and foreseeably do some pretty good things with the Rogla BK. He's already done that with the Zorro goals and the dirty elbows that he did, but we'll see probably him come back to North America once the training camps open up in November and he'll actually start to compete for a spot then. Who knows if he's actually ready to play in the NHL? Some would say he might be because he's played two years in the SHL at 5'9", but time will tell. Sticking with Canada, though, we have ourselves Toronto and Igor Korshkov, a prospect who is 24 years old, a guy who played in the AHL and who posted up a pretty interesting stat line of 25 points in 44 games with the Marlies. He's a forward, 24 years old. He actually played with the Leafs in one game this past season, where he only had 10 minutes of ice time. He's being loaned over to hockey club Lokomotiv Yaroslavl with the opportunity to come back to the NHL once the season returns. Then we have ourselves Winnipeg loaning prospect Arvid Holm to the SHL, a six-round pick in 2017, 21 years of age, but is indeed a goaltender. He's going to the Fargestad BK team in the SHL, and he'll probably see time as either a starter or a 1A, 1B situation over there, just giving him the opportunity to play some more hockey games. Pretty good, ain't it? Now we have 2018 sixth round pick Jesper Selgren from the Carolina Hurricanes. He's a guy who got loaned over to the Frolunda Hockey Club. 22 years old, he's a D-man who didn't play all too much in North America. He had a playoff stint with the Charlotte Checkers, but since then he was playing with a different SHL team. He's loaned once again, so he'll be spending another year in Sweden. And onwards with the Carolina guys, Jack Drury is a guy they selected in the second round of the 2018 draft, a guy that I was really high on, and I actually made a Why I Want video about this guy two years ago in 2018, but he was really good with Harvard. One of the top scorers, he made the World Juniors. He's going to Sweden for the Vekwa Lakers next year, and we'll see what happens there. But it's really interesting to see an American guy go over to Europe instead of wanting to sign with his NHL team to play in the AHL or whatever. We got three more guys to go through. It's Miko Lettinen from the Leafs. Yeah, he's getting loaned to Jokerit in the KHL. He was the top UFA free agent D-man that was really, really, really good in points. And now he's going back to the KHL, most probably with the ability to come back once the NHL training camp starts. He's a guy who's probably just going to get his feet wet, put up some more points, and eventually come back. That's what I would expect. But I'm still super excited to see this guy in NHL colors. Finally, we have ourselves some more Oiler stuff. Marcus Niemelainen has been loaned over to Finland. He is a guy drafted by the Edmonton Oilers in the 2016 NHL entry draft. 22 years old, and he's heading over to the Porin Asat hockey team in the SM Liga. He already played there last season. He's going to play there again this season. We'll see what happens with his development going forward. And finally, the last guy we have is Linus Soderstrom, an Islanders prospect, a goaltender who signed in Finland, also with the Porinasat hockey team. 
He's 23 years old, he wasn't too great in the ECHL last year, and with Sorokin coming in, not to mention Varlamov and Grice, you don't really need to rush your goaltending prospects, so a move like this may be very necessary for a guy like Soderstrom, who did struggle in his most previous year. And my oh my, that is it. That is our prospects update. We talked about a whole bunch of guys here today, the big ones being, of course, Leah Shanderson, Niels Hoaglander, Jack Drury, Vladislav Kolyachanok, Miko Lettinen, and probably Jonathan Dolan too. So talk to me in the comments what you think about all these prospects. I hope you enjoyed this huge news package. It took half a month's worth of content to put into one video for this. So that's Rolls 99, and bye. <laughs>